So this is a question every person in the IT industry must ask themselves. Should I use a brain dump on my CCNA, CCMP, MCSA certification? What is a brain dump? Brain dumps are like, brain dumps are mystical tools akin to a genie and a lamp. Simply rub the lamp, make a wish for the certification of your choice, and voila, you're certified. Don't let people tell you that earning an IT certification is hard. It can be as easy as memorizing a couple hundred questions and then regurgitating these answers all over your local testing center. Forget the countless hours of study and labbing that is the gauntlet for most engineers. No, it could be easy. Or maybe brain dumps aren't such a good idea. Maybe, just maybe, they devalue the certification, the very certification that you hope will boost your IT career. I love this industry because you can get a certification, prove you know something. Everyone, almost every every employer accepts this as an accreditation in your favor. Anyone with the appropriate amount of skill and drive can bust their butt, study for an IT certification, take the test, and get a fantastic job. Sure, you need experience, but these things get your foot in the door. So a lot of guys spend many, many hours studying, labbing, mastering these concepts, and that's what these people who make these exams expect. Cisco, Microsoft, CompTIA, not so much CompTIA, more Microsoft and Cisco. They make their exams very difficult because they want you to know their material. So engineers spend years uh, with real life experience or studying or labbing, and then they take these exams to prove they know something. But then you got these people who study and use brain dumps, and these brain dumps can't really hide the fact it's just cheating. Any test that you somehow obtain the answers to the questions by questionable means, you're cheating on that test. Now, I know a lot of guys who will spend many, many hours studying, go through the entire material, whether it be a Cisco Pressbook, um, CBT Nuggets, i &E, and they'll even do labs. But just before they take their test, they will get these brain dumps, and I guess, be extra prepared. I get it. I totally get it. It's a huge investment to pay for a test. It's embarrassing to not pass a test. And I mean, it's very demoralizing. I have failed. I, I failed my CCMP switch exam the first time I took it. Switch should have been easy. My problem was I didn't lab enough. Anyways, beside the point. These guys will do these brain dumps uh, and they'll assuage the comp, uh, consciences by saying, oh, you know what? I did study. I did do all the hard work. I just want to make sure, I want to kind of make sure I, I pass the test. No big deal, no worries. I want, I want to guarantee I want to slam dunk. Sure, you did the work. And you may be as ready as any other test taker, but it doesn't change the fact that you still cheated. So to the guys who, who study their butts off and they work hard and they learn the concepts and they truly know the concepts, be worthy of the certification you're trying to get. Don't cheat on it. If you know the material, you will most likely pass. Yes, Microsoft and Cisco are notoriously tricky with their questions. They try to simulate a real life on the job experience. A situation that will prove that you know the material. So my advice, be worthy of the certification you are trying to get. Whether it be the CCNA, CCMP, MCSA, what have you. You're going to put this next to your name. You're going to put it on your resume because you know it means something. Well, you know what? Every time you cheat, every time you use these brain dumps or even share brain dumps, you're making it mean something a little less than it used to mean. You're devaluing it just a little bit more. So help all the guys out, help all of us out who put this certification, these initials next to our name, hoping it'll boost our credentials, boost our career. Don't devalue this for us. Now, continuing on the subject of ethics, Cisco and Microsoft do have a few things to say on the subject. For example, they uh, may revoke your certification if they find out that you used a brain dump or something like this of that same nature. If you take part in any of this, I've even seen in their terms and conditions that if you take part in anything like a brain dump, they could re uh, do a lifetime ban. So no more IT certifications for you. That's bad news for IT guys because that's one of the best things about our industry is being able to prove ourselves with these certifications. Every time you go and you take a test, uh, CCNA, MCSA, right in the terms and condition you accept, you're saying, yes, I know, if I use a brain dump, if I cheat in any way, you have the right to either remove my certification or ban me for life. Now, I do need to say this. If you have used a brain dump in the past, or you may even be using one right now for your next test, don't beat yourself up. It seems like everyone in the industry uses these brain dumps, at least everyone I talk to, 
uses these brain dumps to just make sure they're prepared for the test. You may not have even considered or even thought about it being cheating. My advice, start with the clean slate. Start now, don't cheat, don't use these brain dumps. Just get the best material you can for studying. Make sure you know the concepts. Lab, 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 lab. Make sure you know these things and you will pass the test. You may fail the first time, and that sucks. Pass the test, It'll, it makes it mean so much more. Right now I'm studying for my CCMP. I've already got CCMP switch knocked out. Um, I spent a lot of time studying. I think I spent a little more time than I needed to, um, but I did fail the first time. Um, I didn't do enough labs, so I came back. I did a lot of labs, bought this uh, Cisco Press lab book. I think I did really well after that. Um, but for me, not using a brain dump, it makes me feel better about it. It makes me have more honor. It makes me think, yes, I worked hard on this test. I did not cheat. I did not look at other answers. I went to that test. I met the, the high standard that Cisco set. I did it. So when I, I'm about to take my route test here in the next few weeks, I'm studying like crazy. I'm, I studied this thick book from Cisco Press, watched the CBT Nugget videos, and I'm doing the lab book. So I'm working hard on this, and I want to be able to put the CCMP credentials next to my name and know that I did not cheat, I earned it. I met the high bar that Cisco set and I obeyed all the rules. Simple as that. Guys, in closing, let's make sure that the certifications we work so hard on still mean something. Don't take part in brain dumps. Don't share brain dumps. Don't use brain dumps. Discourage your fellow IT guys from using brain dumps. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be making more videos soon about my CCMP certification progress. Um, voice stuff, networking, routing stuff. So please subscribe and um, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching Network Chuck.